ads are definitely the worst thing about miui or redmi phones in general to be honest miui has improved a lot in the past few years it has come a long way it's more stable it has a lot of useful features but the introduction of ads has definitely made a lot of people consider miui as one of the worst android skins while i completely agree that ads should not be a part of any phone given that xiaomi has clarified that it's their business model and they won't get rid of it anytime soon there is something you got to do about it right that's where this video comes in handy let's see how to remove all types of ads from your redmi phone everything from full screen ads in apps app promotions in folders to those annoying notifications from xiaomi apps uh, before we begin let me introduce myself my name is ashwin sundar this is technology jock and let's get started Now, whether you have a Redmi phone or a phone from any other brand, you really should check out these amazing skins from our sponsor, Capes India. They don't just look great; they also provide a bit of protection by preventing scratches without adding any additional bulk or weight to the phone. They have skins for a lot of phones, including the K20 Pro, OnePlus 7, Realme X, and so on. So do check them out. I'll leave a link in the description, and don't forget to use the coupon code TJOCK to get 10% discount on your purchase. So when you buy a new Redmi phone and turn it on for the first time, during setup you'll see this page: disable personalized ad recommendations and this one. I usually disable everything for privacy reasons, but that's up to you. And when you see this page, just tap skip. The next thing to do to make your user experience better. is remove the third party apps that you don't want share chat daily hunt opera mini me store etc you will still be left with a lot of unwanted apps that cannot be uninstalled just put them all in a folder and place them in a corner now the real deal the ads you can find them in almost all xiaomi apps like me video music security and so on Now there are two ways to disable ads. The first one takes just 20 seconds. Go to settings, additional settings, region and choose any gulf or european place. And done. Almost all ads will disappear. But while installing each and every app you get this annoying scanning process along with an ad. Frankly speaking, both are useless. So just tap this settings icon and disable both. That's it. Your Redmi phone is pretty much free of ads now. Now, as far as I know, there is no big deal in changing the region from India to something else. You lose some apps like Themes and Me App Store, but who really uses them? But still, for some reason, if you don't want to change the region, well then you need to disable all the ads one by one. It's annoying, but then it doesn't take more than 5 or 10 minutes. Open every single Xiaomi app like Themes, Security, etc. Go to settings of that app, search for the recommendations toggle and disable it. You might see different names, recommendations or recommended for you or personalized recommendations. Just search for one of them in each of the apps and disable it. And when it comes to the browser app, you have to do one more thing. Disable this option. Tap switch and tap clear defaults. Now when you open any link, it will ask you which browser you prefer. So here, tap more. and tap chrome or whichever you like better so after all this is done you will still get some annoying notifications every single day from apps like browser me video and security and these notifications can be found even on the latest redmi k20 and k20 pro which don't have those typical ads that we just disabled but these notifications have to be disabled manually and it's not that difficult you don't really have to go to settings open every single xiaomi app and turn off notifications just wait for a couple of days you'll surely see a lot of them and right from the notification panel you can disable them just swipe right tap settings and disable it for the security app you can't disable notifications from here but just tap all categories and open each category and turn off notifications and no you won't face any issue by doing this in case you see any notification from another app in the future just do the same thing swipe right tap settings disable in 2 or 3 days you would end up disabling all sorts of annoying notifications if you want to enhance your user experience further 
then I would recommend using a launcher like Nova launcher or Poco launcher. Or if you know of any cool launcher that you want everyone to try out, do post it in the comment section. The TJ community will be happy. So that's it. It would be great if you subscribe to Technology Jock and hit the bell icon as well. Uh, thanks for watching. For the moment, this is Ashwin Sundar saying goodbye.